Ever wonder how successful people get to where they are? What do high performers do to create their success and even if they have it, to keep it, right? Because that's a whole nother thing. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is how high performers think to become super successful. Now before we jump in, I just have to tell you how human I am because I've already recorded this video. I just didn't have myself press play to record. So this is my second attempt for this video. So you guys can all laugh at me because that is pretty funny and that's the second time it happened. But hey, if you haven't watched my video on how to become an overnight success, just click the link up below for the card up there on how to become an overnight success so that you can be able to figure that out for you. But hey, with that, let's jump in because look, here's the deal. There's a different, there's no difference between you and the person you look up to and the, their successful status, right? The only difference is they think think differently than you. See, both if we take two people and they both know how to get in shape and they're both out of shape and over three months, one person takes action, the other person doesn't, it doesn't mean that the strategy is wrong. They use the same strategy, one just thinks differently. One thinks about their result or their outcome, the other one thinks about immediate gratification like sitting on the couch or sleeping in or whatever. They think differently and therefore they're more successful than the unsuccessful person. So. Over the years, after coaching 17,000 coaching calls, hundreds of people, high performers all around the world, I see the patterns and the thought processes of people that are successful those versus those that are not. And I want to share some of them with you. So the first thing is this. I got five of them here for you. So first off, successful people focus on what could go right versus what could go wrong. Most people, they're thinking, oh, we could lose money, we could lose our investment, we could waste our time. Versus the successful person is like, hey, I know I gotta invest my time or my money, and what could we create? How could this be a million, 10 million, 100 million, or billion dollar plus business, right? They focus on how can I make my body better versus how can I, what could go wrong? How much they're giving up? What kind of their favorite foods are they giving up versus how sexy they're gonna look and how great they're gonna feel? They think differently, they focus on different things. The second one is, how do you multiply versus add? Most people are like, hey, how do I add more income versus the successful people are like, how do I multiply my net worth? Right, that's a difference in thinking. How, I gotta invest in this business, I gotta buy this business versus other people who are like, I'm just gonna go get another job or I'm gonna just, you know, maybe add a little bit more overtime, right? Those are two different ways of thinking. One thinks about working for themselves, one thinks about working for someone else. That's a big one. <clears throat> the third one, how can they leverage versus what can they do? Most people, what they do is the unsuccessful really are like, how can I do this? What's everything? I can do that. I can do this. Versus the successful person's like, who's better at this than me? How can I pay them or leverage them so that they can help me be successful? My wife and I, we could kill ourselves going and building out our business and our YouTube channel and all this because, and we have our kids and we coach and serve people, or we could leverage a nanny so that we can get some free time to build business and add massive value to you guys, right? Like that's why we're here. In fact, my nanny's here while I'm recording this video. So we're leveraging successful people. Look at how you can leverage first. How can I do this myself just because I can do it, all right? The fourth one is how do you mitigate risk versus avoiding risk altogether. Look, in anything that you endure, going up to talk to someone for a relationship, they ask them out, um, working, uh, you know, working out, going to the next level, building a business, all of that has risk. Everything has risk, you can fail. In fact, successful people fail more than unsuccessful people. That's why they're successful, right? But they look at how do I mitigate the risk? Not, oh, is there no risk here? If I'm not 100%, if there's 100% no risk, then I'm in. That type of thinking, tell me what's 100% out there nowadays. There's always going to be some risk involved. That's that's business. That's the that's the the desire of success. You got to have risk, but how do you mitigate that, right? So, successful people look at how to mitigate. Last one, number 5, is based on wherever they're going, <clears throat> how does align how does this align to my ultimate vision versus how does this stop them 
from what they want to do. And so successful people focus on how does this align? I don't know too many people who are extremely successful that jump into endeavors that are not in alignment with what they want to do. Most people who are successful, they they stay in their lane. Where other people who are unsuccessful, they keep switching lanes. Network marketing, internet marketing, da, 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 all this. They change lanes all the time. Successful people stay in their lane and they know whether this aligns with their strength, their skill set, and where they're going or not. So that's the way they think. Now, the second thing is, I'll share this. The second component is about asking powerful questions, especially in the morning, so that you think differently. You take control of your thinking versus your thinking taking control of you. And so I had a client who's extremely successful. At a young age, he came to me. He was he wasn't as successful. We started working together. We helped double his income, which was awesome. And I took some road barriers. But then he kind of got a little bit knocked down because he wanted to grow business. And he was like, Oh, what am I? How am I going to get to that seven figure mark again? And so he, we finally got him to, we changed his thinking. We got him in a path where he could partner with people and we got his income up to 300 grand a month. Yes, imagine what $300,000 a month would do for you. How would life change? Where would you go? Who would you do? What would you invest? And who would you do it with, should I say, <laughs> right? <clears throat> but we had him start taking control of his thoughts first thing in the morning. So I wanna give you three powerful questions that I like to ask my high performers to become successful versus just kind of showing up and taking what the day gives you. So the first one is, what are the revenue producing activities that you need to do first thing in the morning? See, successful people do the things that are gonna make them successful right out of the gate because later on in the day, let's be honest, we all have a lack of energy over time, right? So, um, all right, second question. What are your outcomes for the day that will move the needle forward? See, most people, what they do is they just allow their to-do list. We all have one, right? It's a mile long. I don't know about yours, but mine definitely is. But what successful people do is they get clear on what are the outcomes that they want for the day, and that will dictate what they do on their list or what they don't do. That's a different way of thinking than those that are unsuccessful. <clears throat> Most people I know that are unsuccessful, and it's not a bad thing, you use unsuccessful or successful in any definition that you want, right? Like uh, unsuccessful marriage, right? Successful people think differently in a great marriage than those that are unsuccessful. They think, how do I love my partner more? How can I make them feel honored and special? Versus the other person or the other relationship that's unsuccessful, they might be, you know, thinking about like, hey, how come I don't get this? How come I don't get that? Remember, questions are powerful. Questions direct your focus. And what you focus on, you feel and experience. And so it's important to manage your focus. So that's the second one. The third one is what distractions will come up today that I can eliminate right away to ensure my success so that it doesn't derail me for a success. And you might be sitting there thinking, Joe, isn't that a negative question or a negative focus? No, not really, <clears throat> because we want to anticipate what are those distractions so that when they show up, boom, we can overcome them and we don't have to slow down. We just keep in stride and we have that momentum. Which brings me to the third point on what makes people successful and how they think is what makes them successful. And that client I was just telling you about, when he was making 300 grand a month in his business, well, he was taking home that amount of money, which is amazing. But what we did is we had him do what we called a reflection day slash anticipation day. So what you do and what you may want to do is pick out one day a month and usually it was the first day of the month for him. He goes somewhere where he felt abundant, a hotel, uh, the beach, whatever, put on music, whatever you needed to do. And what you do is you write down what went well in your business the month before <clears throat> or what went well in your health and fitness journey or your relationship the month before. What could improve, right? So what can you improve? So we're reflecting. We're kind of getting the good and what needs to be worked on, right? But then the second half is anticipation day. And that is we want to anticipate what are the challenges and obstacles that come up, right? Because it's not about sticking your head in the sand and saying, oh, everything's going to be great. No, that's bull crap, right? Like that doesn't happen. And so we gotta make sure that we can anticipate roadblocks or challenges based on cash flow 
inventory based on holidays. If you're working on your body, you know, Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween and New Year's, all that, or your relationship, it could be kids, it could be, you know, money challenges, whatever it might be. We got to anticipate these challenges so that when they show up, we have them mitigated. We have a solution for them. And I can't tell you on his journey to 300 grand a month or more, he had those anticipation days that would have totally derailed the business. And he never would have hit that six figure mark of 300 grand a month coming in in his pocket, right? And so uh, that anticipation day saved him so much. And guess what? He still does it to this day as of right now. So if you find yourself in a position where you're not as successful as you want, you want to go to that next level, or maybe you are successful, you just can't break that barrier of success that you're looking to smash through. Well, first, you may want to go in the description below and fill out that one-on-one coaching application where we can jump on the phone and talk about how myself or my wife or one of our amazing coaches can help you break through because the only thing that's stopping you 80% of the time is the way that you think about stuff. Most people are focused on the external game, which there's a percent, 20% percent is the external game but 80 percent is the internal and if you don't get this right nothing else is going to matter and you're going to find yourself hitting the wall and what happens for most people i've seen over the last decade is that the exact thinking that got them to where they are is the exact thinking that holds them back to where they want to go but they don't even see that and so guess what therefore they don't even get the success that they want to keep doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result until they hit burnout and then they want to give up and we can avoid all of that. So if you have someone in your corner that can have that 50,000 uh, foot view perspective and that can show you where you're off here and there and be able to get you on track or accelerate your results, you might wanna have someone in your corner to help you because you can save time. Money you can get back, time you can never get back, right? So how do you full time have someone be able to help you break through there? But with that being said, remember, it's never a matter of strategy, right? Like the strategies are abundant. Like we talked about in the beginning, the way people, the one that's more fit than the one that's not, it's just the way that they think. The same strategies are out there. They just think a little bit differently. They shift their focus. They think of what could go right versus what could go wrong and all the other great things that we talked about. So, hey. If you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that button right there. Make sure you subscribe. And yes, turn on the notifications. Why? Because we're coming out with three videos a week in the area of personal development, relationship, business finances, so that you can go to the next level. But let, I do want to share this with you. Master Life by Design is about consciously creating the life that you want. Most people walk through life unconscious. Yeah, they might have goals in an area, but to get that holistic approach, and not just to have a lot of money, but be overweight in a shitty relationship or maybe to have a great relationship but to be broke like you deserve all of it and that's what we're here to do with master life by design is to upgrade all the levels of our life and to be consciously creating that because we are the creators of our future anytime that you say you're not you're living at the effect versus at cause and when you live at cause you have success people who live at the effect are usually the ones that are unsuccessful so let's create the life that you want let's master life by design so with that, hope you guys enjoyed this video again. Check out that video, How to Become an Overnight Success. And check out that and let me know what you think. Comment below if you have any great comments. But other than that, looking forward to jumping on the next video. Tune in, check out the rest of the channel. My name is Joe Mafu, Master of Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.